it is. Very good. This is the December 2nd meeting of the Local Housing Partnership uh, uh, beginning at 4.03. Uh, so the first order of business is the minutes of the October 21st meeting. Thank you very much, Susan. Um, I would offer one correction. The, the um, hearing for the uh, CPC is on the 11th of June. Uh, January, not the 10th. Okay, uh, got it. So are there any other uh, corrections or comments? So uh, would someone like to move the minutes? I'll move the minutes. Excellent, and a second? Second. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor of accepting the minutes signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, Aye. Any, uh, any opposed? Any abstentions? Very good. Uh, and thank Gary, you, I, you you asked someone else to take minutes today. Uh, you know, I didn't. Susan, do you want to take them, and then when you leave, I'll pick them up, or do you? Um, yeah, I don't. I'm not in a place where I can even easily. Okay. I don't have anything to write with or anything, so I wasn't um, prepared to. So I will take the minutes. Um, I'm sorry. That's all right. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Hi, Gary. I'm good. Thanks. Very good. How are, are you? you? I'm, I'm on the. Uh, I'm in the car here with my with the ah, kiddo, so good. I'm gonna just stay unmuted so it doesn't get any disturbing. Ah, no, but I'm no, here. No problem. Listening. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so, and Sharon, very good. So the second, uh, we just approved the minutes of the uh, previous meeting. Um, the Lawrence Road, 95 Lawrence Road, um, I think you all know that the task force recommended that POA, the, the um, uh, very large uh, nonprofit developer in Boston, I think it's the preservation of affordable housing is what POA stands for mm -hmm. um, in partnership with our local CDP. We're recommended uh, and the select board met on last Tuesday and they in fact um, approved that recommendation and are now going to enter into a contract with POA to develop the 46 units at, um, at 95 Lawrence. Um, a lot of work went into that, especially on the part of um, Elaine uh, McElroy and uh, also Harry and, and our um, assistant town administrator, Rebecca Slick. And you. And I and others, many people worked many years on this. So it's very exciting, um, a little uncertain what happens now, but uh, in theory, the select board uh, working through town council will enter into what's called a, a land dis disposition agreement, an LDA, as well as a ground lease. And then the real task will begin, which is the permitting. Uh, so stay tuned, uh, but I did share with you the um, presentation we made to the select board. Any questions on that? No, can I just add another piece of news in the, in the pile there? Sure. Uh, the, the ADU bylaw was approved by the Attorney General. Oh, terrific. So we're good to go. Excellent. So no changes? No changes. The only thing that they were, they had been uh, worried about was the fact that the, it was not properly, the meetings, the public meetings were not, the notifications were not properly managed. And that is not our fault. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, I, I I don't know. They had a new secretary. There's who knows what what happened, but um, but they just sent out new notices and nobody complained, and so now it's good to go. It's all approved. Excellent. So spread the word. Anybody you know who uh, might be interested in creating an ADU, it's now official. We even have a uh, a building inspector coming on board. Uh, who can uh, carry it forward. All right, uh, any, anything else on either 95 Lawrence or the ADUs? 
Uh, so the next order of business I is the website. So there is a small group, um, myself and Elaine and Sharon and Mia. Um, I can't remember Mia's last name now. Um, oh, I'm I'm Thank you. Um, <clears throat> have been working with a, um, a developer, um, Barbara Woodbury. Some of you may know she's a former shellfishman and uh, also I think she did the library um, website. She may have also done Prez Hall. I'm not sure. But anyway, she has graciously offered to, to uh, do our uh, relaunch and redo of our website uh, gratis. So we, we really do appreciate that. Um, and she's really, she's actually keeping us on, on pace and doing a great job. So it's a little bit like herding cats, but, uh, but he's a good wangler. It. Yes. Okay. So we, the partnership, got several areas that we need to um, provide the content for. And I sent you that information. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that. I think I, okay. So the first, uh, well, actually the first one is the tagline, which is, you know, when you open up the website, um, she suggested the tagline, um, a home for all. And we previously used uh, the phrase, um, Everyone needs a place to call home. Is that is that correct, Sharon? Is it everyone? We all need a place. To call. We all need we a all place need to call. And you know, I've been thinking about that. And yep, uh, well, uh, let's hear what other people have to say yeah. first. So, then. is there do you, does it does it strike you? Barbara told us that we really need a short, yep. um, powerful statement when they first come on to the website to say, "What do we do?" I agree. All right, which one do you like, Judy? A home for everyone. A home for everyone. Anybody else have an opinion? Uh, I, is it time, should I say my opinion now? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, when I say everybody, I, that includes you. <laughs> I, I still kind of like, we all need a place to call home because I feel like that um, expresses a shared humanity. We all need a place to call home. And uh, so that's just my two cents on it. I, um, I feel like a home for all, again, I, I said it at the other meeting, it sounds a little like a campaign slogan to me. Right. How about a home for everyone? That's the everyone. Susan and John, you does that grab you one way or the other? Or are you sort of neutral on it? takes me a long time to unmute. Oh. I think <laughs> short and sweet is my general view of tagline. So okay. um, that would lead me to the, the so it sounds home like for everyone. Are, a home for everyone is what people like. All right, so I will pass along that. The next item that we have as events. And although we don't have any events coming up right now, um, Susan and Sharon, can I assign to you, uh, let's say in the next 60 days, will you write up something about the, the Housing Angels event for the summer that we can put on the website? The upcoming event. Upcoming, Not, that's the yeah. only upcoming event we have. Right. Not, unless, not a, a we not a re about, we're I'm not sorry? supposed to talk about what we did last summer. Correct. This is not, yeah. this is not what we did, but what we're doing. Okay. Uh, sure. I'm happy to take a stab at that. Okay. Yeah. And Sharon, I'll, I'll, I'll do a first draft and then run it by you. Okay. Good. Okay, so Sharon and Susan are doing that. Okay, the next one has to do with donations. Um, this is under the heading of get involved. 
Um, and, and what I sent you in blue is what we have to develop copy for. So I sent you what, what we kind of consider as the high end of donation pages, which is the um, Martha's Vineyard or the Island Housing Authority um, asking page. Did people have a chance to look at that at all? Island Housing Trust. Island Housing Trust, yes. Didn't. I love their website. If I could ask folks to look at that and give me their feedback, really, we're not going to do, I shouldn't say we're not going to do, but in, right now, we're not going to do some of the um, um, giving programs that they have. But if you open theirs, it looks a lot like other people's. And it's, there are basically blocks that say, 50, 100, 200, 500. And so, um, as you know, Susan and I are um, reaching out to this Monica, Monica McKay. And we actually right. also wanted to, you, you had said you were going to write, reach out, I think, to the guy from the uh, housing trust, the Island Housing Trust. I, I, I did do that. I have not. I did say that. I have not done that. Okay, so that would be um, that would be some interesting information to have, especially if we uh, are able to arrange a meeting with this woman, this mm -hmm. fundraiser, Monica A, so that we have some examples of um, things that have been done in the area, um, and just so then so we can put something on the website now, but we might have more exciting stuff to put on you know, yeah, for so bigger later. I think you're right, Sharon. Th this is walk. Now we're learning to crawl this effectively. Uh, yeah. And we can we can expand it. There's, the nice thing about having Barbara do the website and in the format we're doing it is that we can actually make changes, which in the yeah. past we have been hard pressed to do. But the, the first one just is about the initial do we want to ask for credit card donations? And if so, is that kind of an approach what people are comfortable with? I think it's essential that we get up and running with credit card donations. Right. And is that kind of, as opposed to a, a, a free form one where you, you know, hit a block and it just says 50 or 25 or a hundred dollars or whatever it may be. Well, either Having, way, that's be like a uh, credit card donation, right? Correct, correct. It's just that that's a format. Can we recommend that to Barbara to develop? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but but we need the financial ability to accept right. payments via a credit card, and I I agree with Sharon. I mean, I think that's what people are used to now. And yeah. Okay. It's not so such the, a big deal to send a check, but it's one extra step or two right. extra steps. So the block approach is okay. I don't know what to call that, but the, you know, where you hit it. And can I ask a question? Um, I'm not put off at all, but what do other people think? Because when they ask me for the fee, so instead of giving a hundred dollars, I end up giving, you know, a hundred and three, hundred and four dollars. Does that yeah, put I think people we, off? No, I think we should do that. Yes. Anybody else? No, I, I agree. I think we should do that because if, if I'm giving money, I want to know how much of it is going right. to the organization. Right. And, I mean, that's and the one advantage. Overhead for them. Right. And that would make it honestly easier from the town's accounting perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, that you could say that. Um, all right. So we're going to work on can we just do credit card, simple credit card donations going directly to the to the town. Um, uh, and uh, obviously people can add whatever amount they want, but making it a block, it makes it very simple. Can I just, uh, I have good news to report uh, on this subject of donations while we're on it. Uh, 
recently we have received uh, as part of Thanksgiving uh, additional donations to the housing trust in excess of twelve thousand dollars. Oh, fantastic! Right, right. Really, really, we are much appreciative of the generosity of everyone who has uh, sent us a check. But in particular, um, we received a very nice donation of eighty-five hundred dollars from AIM. Um, so, if you go, I guess there, I'll keep stopping. I was going to say, and, and go in there and just mention to them that housing appreciates their support. You betcha. Yep. Thank wow, you. that's great. So, I yes. mean, they're raising money for Outer Cave Health, right? Oh, absolutely. We're not, we're by no means their first or their um, only um, uh, recipient, but we much appreciate their support. No, so, I didn't, I didn't actually realize that they raised money for anything right. other than Outer Cape Health. Yes, they, uh, we're not, uh, it's not just us and, and Outer Cape Health, there are a number of organizations that receive. They've grants. been giving us for years. Right? Couple, okay. Last couple of years, exactly right. Mm -hmm. So that, that is much appreciated. Okay, so we're on to ADUs. Sharon. <laughs> well, okay, so I already gave you my big piece of news. Um, right. But this has to do with, the, no, this has to do with um, whatever copy for the website. Okay. Yep. Yep. I can do that. I'm more, I just started working on the um, frequently asked questions page today and I realized, yeah, it does need updating. So, uh, and uh, Elaine and I are going to be talking to um, the current and the new building inspector. And so I, I'm hoping to get some more, you know, real specific information to put in those FAQs and, um, I don't know if we want a like a, a blurb. I'm I'm still a little unclear on the setup of the um, so that's under the get involved. Is that right? Yeah. So ADD? so you'd come up with a there'd be a, the get involved page would list the different things and then you'd hit ADUs and it okay. would go to whatever you provide. Okay. So maybe I'll write a short blurb about what ADUs are. And right. include the FAQ, the updated FAQs, and maybe include also some um, references where people can go to get more information about ADUs in general. Right. Okay. So you are working on that. Yep. Um, first of all, hello, Dan. Oh, excuse me. I'm really sorry. I. I was nope. on the phone for an hour and a half with my credit card company over some fraud issues. I, I started oh, yes. an hour and a half before the meeting and just got off. So I'm really sorry. Uh, thank you for joining us and I hope it works out. Um, we're we're well, very sorry for you having to have yeah. done that. Yeah. No kidding. Planned giving. Do you, do you think we can do something on planned giving at this point? I think planned giving based on my experience at Preservation Hall is almost never successful. And the people who want to do it come forward and offer. It's not, so, not we're not going to have it on the website and it's going to stimulate anything. Is that what, what you're saying? I mean, I don't think there's any harm in just having it on the website, but I think expecting it to happen or putting much energy into it, yeah. in my experience, hasn't been productive. We can, for the sake of argument, um, copy somebody else's, I can't think of a nicer word to say it, and just say, call us. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I would take that one. Uh, then uh, next one has to do with success stories. I'm sorry, Judy walked away. Uh, maybe I'll wait. I'm, I'm back, I'm back. Are you back, back, back. Okay, they ask, can we um, either photos that we have or photos that we take in the next week or so uh, of uh, any house that you'd like to put in it, <laughs> you want to put your own or whatever, but specifically of uh, uh, any um, affordable housing that we have in town, any working people. Um, like I noticed we have an awful lot of uh, shellfishing pictures 
but maybe because Barbara is a former shell fisherman, but, um, but we don't have a lot of people working in art galleries or painting or uh, doing construction or whatnot. So um, if you could send to, I think Elaine is the recipient, any and all pictures that you either have or would like to take that you think would be illustrative of uh, living and working in Wellfleet, that would be much appreciated. And, we, and uh, Barbara said it could be iPhone pictures work great, JPEG, GIF. Does it say GIF, G-I-F? Um, so would you please send them, maybe send them uh, to Elaine with a copy to me. She'd also like a caption on them. Ah, uh, yes, if you could describe. So she knows what yes. I'm, uh, I'm not entirely clear about picture of people. People could of be picture of working people. So uh, uh, Judy, what Barbara said to us was, uh, I'm paraphrasing, your website is boring. Uh, and <laughs> what we need is people and places. Okay. But that's really what we're about, putting people in places. <laughs> uh, so we really need to jazz it up with both still and action uh, photographs. And uh, what do you call them on the, when you take them on the iPhone and they, they run for uh, a few seconds. A video? Uh, video, thank you. Uh, you want some so, of those? Yes, absolutely. I don't, I don't think we have much of a limitation on, on size right now. Um, so yeah, go around. I mean, send the, your Thanksgiving pictures or whatever, um, but do send pictures. Don't, don't not send pictures and we can always not use something, but right now we're really struggling to get a, enough good picture, enough good graphic representations for the website. And that has to do with success stories in particular. So Susan, like if you have pictures of the um, habitat in process, that would be super. Mm. So if you could send some of those, that would be wonderful. Yeah, let me, I, mean, I might not personally have them, but I will ask habitat yeah, to yeah, send yeah. them to me. Right. 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 I can send in a cute picture of the ADU we're working on. Oh, very good. So send those pictures in. All right. Uh, so that is the discussion of the website. Any questions? Um, anyone who'd be uh, interested, uh, let me know if you'd like to work more on the website. Gary, what is it you need? I mean, I missed, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Well, uh, 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 Jan, just a quick update. Um, we're working with Barbara Woodbury um, on the redo of our website. Okay, right. And she has provided us with this list of things that she needs. Right, I saw that, I just didn't. Oh, so what we're looking, so we've gone through the different ones um, and we've assigned them, actually I didn't assign local support. I'm not actually sure what that means. Uh, what was it? Local support was one of the things. I'm not sure what she means by local support because we have all the programs in somewhere else, which, which strikes me as local support. But anyway, um, so she asked for us to send pictures, videos. Oh, okay. Ideas, any artwork that you might have that yeah. she could incorporate into these various sections. So we'd have uh, you know, a picture of uh, our donations, but the background would be, you know, a picture of someone uh, shell fishing or whatever okay. maybe. Okay, yeah, I, I don't have anything, to, any photos to contribute to that, sorry. Yeah, it could be, you know, it could be anything. And, you know, Elizabeth, oh, Elizabeth, did she leave? Yeah. Uh, tell Elizabeth to take pictures of her kids and send them. Oh, that's a good so idea. Uh, she put uh, a really Judy. wonderful picture picture of her kids you have um, pictures of your grandkids what about my son-in-law who's on the rescue squad in east ham 
Yes, that's a good, I mean, a good uh, discussion is about why we can't get more people to work here because there's no place to live. Let me just say that they only have four medics in East Ham and my son-in-law is working 80 and 90 hour weeks. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, any other questions on the website? Okay, so uh, with respect to the next item of business is CPC. Um, there's an opportunity that has come our way and I wanted to see what people think. I don't really need a vote on this per se, but um, we have about this year, about $600,000 in CPC money that we're gonna recommend um, for warrant items um, at the Springtown meeting. So in five months or so for approval by the, by the voters. And uh, there's a big one for a new playground at the elementary school, uh, which is hmm, $380,000, which has a lot of support, um, I think, in town and on the committee. Um, but we have previously had um, approved a request for $210,000 for um, a buy down to fund another buy down. Um, and let me tell you what's happening with that. We have a buy down now in process that the person is really having struggled with finding a house that is under the DACD uh, guidelines in terms of the price they can pay, but frankly, that they can afford. Um, there was a house for sale this past week and it wasn't much more than a cabin. Um, and it was listed at 425. I don't know what the final price is, 425,000 uh, was right on route six. And um, I don't know what the price was, but the buy down person didn't get it. Um, and that was the cheapest house available for some months. Um, so, we're questioning whether the buy down going forward, given the price of houses, is a viable way to go. Um, so the housing trust has been talking about, we need to buy some land in order to build affordable uh, home ownership opportunities uh, that people can actually afford. Um, and we had a presentation last month at the um, CPA meeting um, by the state um, coordinator for CPA about bonding. So what that means is that we, we would, it's like the land trust that, that has been going on for years um, for open space. Um, but basically it means that we would commit a certain amount of money for every year, in this case for 20 years, to raise enough money to buy some property. And we're talking in the amount of around $2 million. Um, so it's not that we have a specific piece of property to buy right now, but we would then have the money to buy it if and when something came up. And we are, we are working some opportunities, but nothing that we can talk about right now or as frankly has come to come far enough along to be a real opportunity. But anyway, um, so the question is, should we continue with our buy down request? Which, you know, we've done eight of them. So it's not, it is, it's been a successful program. Or should we look to apply that money to the purchase of commercial property and, and to raise $2 million would take us about $150,000 a year of CPA money for 20 years. Um, and is that the direction that we should be going in, given the reality of the housing market in Wellfleet, that 
and the and the land market in Wellfleet is that there is no town-owned land. Uh, we we looked at under every rock, I think, and haven't been able to find anything. And we've been looking for years. Um, Gary, just sure. if I could interrupt, I'm sorry. I no, remember no, no. years and years ago that we there was a parcel on. I think it was Designer's Way. Yeah. Whatever happened with that? I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, w we have looked at um, both the town-owned land and commercially available land above, I forget what the number is, but above two acres. I think we have looked at every parcel. Now, I think this was a, a building lot. One building was, lot? And I was just thinking if 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 that was still a viable building lot, and we have the lot on Freeman Avenue there, yeah. that yeah. that might be more attractive for Habitat if they had two projects. And I'm, I'm remembering the town meeting when they voted on that property. And- um, it's, it's town owned land on Designer Road? There was a lot on on Designer Road, yes. Why don't, um, um, Judy, yeah. why don't I look into it and report back? Okay. And see what I can find. Um, we're or gonna if, talk about or this if Judy, if you, I'm sorry? If Judy could go to the assessor's map and see if she could locate it and then- um, I have you know, assessor's maps. Okay. It's all online. I mean, it's pretty easy to find out if the property is <clears throat> still vacant, still available, maybe what it's assessed at. Judy, um, I want to continue the discussion about bonding, oh, then I'll come yeah, back absolutely. to the designer road just, thing, if that's okay. No, no, and um, okay. So the, the question is, should we, should we consider requesting that we change our um, CPA ask from the buy down to support a, a bonding effort that would raise, let's say $2 million for the pur pur purchase of land for the uh, purpose of um, building affordable homes. I say yes. You say yes? Yes. Yes. Is that, I mean, Dad, Dan, you, you know, have a question? <laughs> Wait, Sharon, wait a second. Dan, Dan, okay, I, just, a I just want a little bit a uh, little bit more clarification, Gary, sure. so I really understand this. This bonding effort would amount to X number of dollars a year, more or less. Correct. And then you could, in year three or two, you could buy property. You don't have to wait, right? So here, here's uh, it how it would work, Chan. Um, we would put in a request to CPA, let's say, CPA approves it. It would then go to the voters at town meeting. They right. would approve it. We wouldn't actually borrow money until we had property to buy. Okay. okay. Um, but you could so do we, that at any time as soon as right, the property but, came up. But we couldn't, without that, we don't have a good way to raise the money. Um, and, you know, one the reality is we are like the homeowners who are, who are bidding for houses we're late to the party almost every opportunity. So you could move quickly with this bonding. Exactly right. Got it. Okay. And, yeah. and just uh, Stuart Saginaw, who is the uh, statewide coordinator for CPA, he uh, did a wonderful presentation to us. And he said they have raised about half a billion dollars. Wow. Bonding CPA. Many communities have done it. And okay. most recently in our area, Orleans did it, uh, bonded CPA to buy the Cape Cod Five building, okay. which they are now turning into, and they raised about the same amount of money. Um, sounds like a good idea to me to use. Yeah, um, we, we I went to the um, the town's bond agent. Um, we just went out in in March of this year uh, with another bond and. She was able to give me a, a pretty good uh, breakdown of how much would be needed, but of 
for two million dollars, the payments are not astronomical. They start at one hundred seventy-three thousand a year, and and the twentieth year it goes down to one hundred thousand dollars. So, against our six or seven or eight hundred thousand dollars annually of uh, CPA money, it's not you know it doesn't take up the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, people like it. Don't like it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I think it's essential that we get a pot of money somehow yeah, so that so. we can we can be uh, we can be proactive. And like with this buy down that just got away, you know, I mean, <clears throat> it might might be that there might be situations where we could just move in and get something before it goes. Right. Right. Although this this specifically would be for the purchase of land. Uh, I guess maybe we could broaden it to property. So if something came up, you know, we could look at it. All right. So that is the discussion about CPC. There is a meeting, um, if you're interested, next Wednesday, Wednesday morning, um, you know, a public meeting to um, talk about that as well as the other uh, applicants. Uh, this year, there are quite a few uh, relatively expensive request to CPA much more than the money we have available. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, any other questions on CPC, CPA? All right, uh, Judy, I didn't mean to, to uh, cut you off on Designer Road. Do you wanna say something about it? Um, I can see the lot on the assessor's map um can't see what it's it's small but it's a building lot and it, it on the on the map that i have it's town owned town owned on designer road yep do, do me a favor uh judy is there a map and a lot number that you can send me 67 map 67 no, uh, it's the the map. The sheet number is twenty three, in the yeah, assessor's 23. atlas, and on uh -huh. Designers Road, it's right. lot number sixty seven, and it's small. What's it small? Like it, it looks like it's a third of an acre. A third of an acre. So, so I don't know if you could put a one bedroom cottage on there. If habitat so fifteen thousand something like fifteen thousand square feet. I don't know. I guess we have to look into it, but it, I remember it being voted at town meeting. So there must have been some thought that something could be done with it. Okay. We will look to see it. if I can find it quickly on the town website. No, that's all right. Well, I mean, that's enough information. We will report back or I will um, send it to the trust who really is in the, that's, that's our conduit now for, um, for land purchases. Uh, or land use and see it. And you say it's town owned. It appears to be, it has the little dotted lines on it. Okay. All right. I will look, I will send it along. And if anyone else, whether it's commercial or town owned, if there's a small lot, we do have some money. Or a big one. <laughs> right, or a big one. Well, a big one, we don't have a lot of, we don't have big money yet. So, I mean, the best case scenario for this would be, you know, we get it approved at town meeting in the spring, whenever the hell that's going to be. And, uh, and then uh, we go out and raise the money. So this, the probably the earliest you could do something would be July or August with this money. Okay, um, anything else on uh, land or CPA? I, I will tell you that there is an RFP now for um, the Freeman Ave lot that's sitting on the desk of the assistant town administrator and is ready to go out. So uh, hopefully that will be released in the next little bit. Well, if indeed there is a lot on Designers Way that's town owned and we could put those two together. Is it Designers Way? 
says Designers Road. Road, yeah. Okay. Um, the annual report, I uh, sent you the copy. Uh, this is what gets printed in the little book that the town uh, produces uh, with every, everybody's committee. And I think we're getting, uh, we, we usually print everybody's name in it, but we may be running out of room on our one page. Uh, so your name may not appear, but uh, does anyone have any comments or questions about that? Otherwise, I'd like to someone to make a motion to approve the annual reports. Who would like you to said send that to us? I did send it to you. Did I not? I didn't see it, no, but maybe I missed it. Oh, uh, if two of you didn't see it, it's probably me who missed it. So uh, I'm looking now. I have it here. It says housing annual report. You didn't get it? Did I not send it? Oh, well. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll wait and do it next time. Additional materials. No, additional materials is about the website. All right. Uh, Susan and Sharon, is there any update? on the 40 for 40 program? I, I don't think so. Um, Susan thought we were waiting to hear back from, uh, from Stephen um, about his reaching out to Pres Hall, but I mean, not uh, to what, but I, I couldn't remember. Um, I thought I had seen something where the decision was made to just go ahead and do it at Pres Hall, but I don't, but things go in and then they go out, so. Can I ask, uh, Sharon, uh, since Susan has uh, left that you, uh, since <clears throat> we know now that they may be leaving uh, in January, uh, can, we, uh, can we nail down uh, this uh, program at our next meeting? Okay, I'll, um, I'll reach out to Stephen. When are you leaving? Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, well, this is the beauty of Zoom. You may not have even know I'm gone. Oh, that's right. Um, that's true. <laughs> all right. So, but, Sharon, you will give but, us an update next time on our, this meeting. Yes, I will. Okay. Um, Gary, you did send that. I did? Yeah, it's in the first email you sent, and oh. we all glossed Oh, good. Over. If I send it, then you, I don't... <laughs> I should say it like this. But, yeah. If you quickly open that, and we will then entertain a motion to approve the annual report. What's the um? So what's it says the annual report? <laughs> what? It says the annual report. I yeah. Think. It's in the first email, the the oldest one. What's think the date of it? Oh, uh, let me see. I was looking for that. Um, uh, November 29. I was going to say, I think I sent it Monday. Yeah. And there were three. There's the minutes. It's with the minutes. I got distracted by the uh, the slideshow. Oh, <laughs> the yeah. slides that I you mean, it, 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 oh. it, Yeah, it was a complex um, process to do 95 Lawrence. It was, it was a great presentation. So right. I, it, I see, I see it on the email, but I don't see it as an attachment. It's it's at the bottom. I see the Lawrence Road. I'll send it to you again, Sharon. But for the Thank sake you. of for the sake of not touching this another time, would someone yeah. like to make a motion to approve the annual report? I'm sure it's fine. All right, Sharon moved. Who's going to second it? I'll second it. Excellent. Sharon and Judy, is there any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of submitting the annual, approving the annual vote, signify by saying aye. 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 Your hand. Very good. Any nays, any abstentions? All right. Um, okay, so uh, 
project updates. I gave you the buy down update, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, we are still looking, if anybody knows of any house, a modest house that people may be considering selling, definitely let us know and we will pass it along. Ann Robinson from the CDP is the person who manages that program. Um, and we would certainly welcome any, any pointers that you might have. Um, Pain Hollow, it, that um, last little bit of um, resistance, they've come to agreement and so it is proceeding now. So uh, it's six, six units of affordable rental. I think it's six. Uh, I thought it was eight. eight. I thought yeah, it was eight. Eight, and maybe it is eight. Are they actually breaking ground already? No. Okay. No, but. I the, think he has to line funding again. But as you know, uh, Jan, the, one of the big open questions was whether they would have to restart the permitting process at ZBA or continue with what they had already submitted and right. ZBA agreed to continue what they already had submitted. So it's been approved, right? Yes. Yes. So um, I think they um, are now in the funding stage. Because okay. I think the appeal, so, the appeal time is over. There's a well they came to agree they came to agreement with the the appellants. No, but I mean, you can appeal a ZBA decision. Yes, you could. You could I think that could period still. of time is over. I, yeah. I think. Yeah. Right. But I think now the, the question, you know, it's been so long since they had gotten approval for funding, they yeah. have to um, get new funding. Yeah. And the cost of materials is up and it's hard to get materials. So let's right. keep our fingers crossed. Right. Um, is there anything new about? Is it, it's still in court, right? The one on uh, Old King's Highway? Yes, King's Old King's Highway. Um, they asked for an extension of the time. It's very frustrating in which they were granted. Um, so it, it's on the docket for April of 2022. Wow. Remains to be seen whether it goes forward or not. Okay. Um, we talked about uh, there's no update on the short-term rental. We talked about ADUs already. Um, there is, is an RFP that is at Town Hall waiting to be issued uh, for um, land. So this would be to send out so that anyone who owned, I forget what the size of it is, but two, two acres or more of commercial property or fallow property uh, who would be interested in selling it to the town, uh, there is a request to, to do that. You know, Karen? I just say one, you, you just sort of glossed over ADUs. I just wanted to say one thing. I know I'm a broken record. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a one track, one trick pony. Um, that, but I just wanted to share that, um, was it CDC and HPC, who, who was it? That a million dollars was just uh, funneled into C CPC uh, and no, not CPC. CDP and Hack. And Hack, for uh, for the purposes of starting a um, accessory dwelling unit resource center. Oh. So like for support and information and maybe some funding and and so that's very exciting I think. If, if somehow you could manage a, uh, a, a wait list for the Outer Cape in that program, that would really be terrific. Because I think the, the missing link we often have is we don't know who's looking and we don't know who has available units and we don't know how to match them up. Well, uh, I think, you know, as, as someone who has a rental property and um, I, I will say that it, it's like um, it goes out in the environment and you, you breathe the word, you, you whisper in the wind and, and about 15 people come running. So it's, um, you know, I don't know that we need to know, honestly. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, any other updates on programs or any other questions that people have? We, we could talk about whether we want to do, do you think we, we would take on another zoning project in 22? What do you mean? Well, uh, well, well yeah. the one that we the mentioned is inclusionary, but I don't know how valid it is for Wellfleet. But not valid, but effective it is for Wellfleet. How many inclusionary would say, if you're going to build 12 houses, at least one of them has to be affordable. But how many developments do we have that would, mm -hmm. would really apply? You know, the, the zoning the planning board spent years putting together the um cluster housing thing and i don't think it's been used once no and and, and yeah. zba did did their their local 40b thing that you know never ne hasn't been used effectively so if there is a zoning or or something you'd like to take on that'd be something for us to discuss at our next meeting so i made a mistake on the on the um, agenda that I put out on the website, on the town calendar. Our next meeting is not in January, it's December 16th. Right. And that's at three o'clock. Everyone would just make a note of that to accommodate. And this is the meeting where we're doing our goal setting for next year. And we're be going to be joined by Shelly Goring uh, of the uh, Mass Housing Partnership. And she's worked with the Housing Authority and the Housing Trust already to talk about mission and goals. I, I, ha, having sat in on that meeting this morning, I thought it was very interesting and, and yeah. uh, a, such a worthwhile process to go through. Right. I will send you what the Trust and the Housing Authority have come up with. But I would say that you know ours is really more about outreach you know, I've been thinking about what's a realistic goal in terms of either activity, but if we're talking about fundraising, how much money could we raise next year? I mean, what's, what's a reach number? You know, I don't need the answer right now, but, but I think mm -hmm. at the end of the day, when we take into account um, free will donations and our Housing Angels program and our tax insert, we probably raise eighty thousand dollars, so we're between eighty and a hundred thousand dollars. So some of that is well, big. We got unsolicited big donations, you know, in the twenty-five thousand dollar range. So I think um, we we may know more um, if if we can have this meeting with Monica Mackey and mm -hmm. um, and Harry and um, and Susan and I, so she because she is a professional uh, you know development person and right. she she offered this summer to to help me think about help us think about you know fundraising but I didn't I wasn't ready. I mean, I was like overwhelmed with the housing angels and, and everything else. And I didn't have the answers in terms of, you know, nonprofit status and this and that. And I think the answers have slowly been coming in. So hopefully maybe she can show us ways that we could raise significant funds. That would be terrific. That's right, because, you know, this thing, we don't do anything with either, uh, companies, corporations, or um, other means of raising money, you know, grants and things like that. So, but think I'd about- like to see the okay. okay. I was sorry. gonna say, I'd like to see the person who just bought the Blash House to uh, donate a million dollars as a goodwill gesture. <laughs> but what did it end up going for? 5.5 million. Oof. Oh. Is there any- and any, uh, anything on the seawall or the, no? I think they have to start again on that and wow. probably gonna get the same answers the Blush has got. Right. Donna's smiling. So is there any news on that? 
No, I don't have news, but one of my routes for looking for turtles goes right by it. So uh -huh. I've been walking by it frequently, and it really does look like it's getting closer to the edge. <laughs> and they took down the uh, lower part of the staircase and sort of stacked the lumber. Um, so, but I salute it every time I go. Excellent. Not yeah. nicely, but. There is a lot of discussion about uh, in town about um, alternative septic and and how we do a better job of, of managing the the nitrate flow into the to the harbor. So mm -hmm. that's a, certainly something coming in the in the near term. Um, okay, does anyone have anything else? So uh, December sixteenth, three o'clock. It's our goal setting and mission statement assignments be thinking about what would you like to do next year for housing <laughs> and how much money can we raise how yes all right it is five o'clock does anyone have anything else boy on the money all right good job um, Right. It's, it's just because I spent the day in the shed, so I'm anxious to <laughs> <laughs> do that. But anyway, thank you all. I will entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. So moved. Excellent. Uh, second, and anybody, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you all so, so much, and we will see you on the 16th. Stay healthy. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.